Hi guys, Chantal here from Nerdy Mama. Today we're going to talk about how to install pegboard. Let's do this. Okay, so first things first, full disclosure, we had pegboard up here. It was old, it was from like the 1950s, it was messy, and this room needed a lot more white and a lot more light. And all the pegs were actually ripped out because it didn't have this fantastic plastic finish to kind of hold the, the holes kind of together. So all the pegs had kind of been ripped out. So we had to replace all that. So we knew how the pegboard had been up here before, but the thing that changed was we decided to insulate our garage. And so instead of just having bare two by fours back here, we had insulation. So this is how we dealt with installing our pegboard, our new pegboard, where our old pegboard had been. So first things first, we had to cut up some scrap OSB. You could use basically anything here, but we just used the OSB because we had it laying around from uh, putting up on the um, walls as our wall covering. So we just split those into about one inch sections. They don't have to be very wide, just got to be wide enough for your screws to grab onto when you're installing the pegboard. We, we then put those up, we pre-drilled pre, pre pre -drilled and <laughs> screwed them on straight to our 2x4s uh, to start with. And then uh, my husband here, you can see he's uh, doing one side, I'm doing the other, and then once he got done with his side, he started pre-drilling all of the holes on all of the little pieces uh, so that we didn't have to do that in place. We could just pre-drill them and then put them up. Made the process go a lot faster. Once we had all of the kind of vertical pieces in place, uh, we then figured out that we kind of needed to do some um, cross pieces. And because our two by fours, there weren't just a whole lot that went back and forth, uh, we had to just put the OSB up. It's really, again, just for the, the pegboard to be attached and kind of stay in place and not be wobbly. So it doesn't have to be all over the place. Just every once in a while, no big deal. Once our spacers were in place, uh, it was time to go ahead and measure to make the cuts to the pegboard itself and actually get it in place. Uh, we took some time and talked back and forth about exactly how we would do it because our area was actually much bigger than one sheet of, of pegboard, but also just kind of had all these weird cutouts. So what we ended up with was hanging a single sheet of pegboard kind of in the middle that had cutouts on each end and then doing a little extra on each end, so. Once we had the pegboard in place, it just didn't fit exactly perfectly right. Um, you know, it just happens, you, you measure and it's a big piece. And we found that having this oscillating tool that uh, we just got at Harbor Freight that same day because it was on sale, which is kind of awesome, uh, made this process so much easier. We were able to cut out the outlet um, 
uh, box that's kind of in the middle of the pegboard and then we were also able to make the pegboard fit so much better and it was so much faster than taking it off, dragging it over, doing it with the jigsaw 800 times. Once the pegboard was up, I went ahead and pulled the outlet through so that it would be flush with the pegboard and not kind of buried behind it. Uh, a couple of reasons why this is a great idea, but mostly because I really didn't want to have to dig for it whenever I went in to plug stuff in. And to keep the pegboard in place, we just kind of randomly went in and screwed in just kind of to all those places where we had put the, the spacers to keep it off of the um, two by fours. To, it was really no big deal. To kind of give the pegboard a finished look, we found some scrap wood that we had um, that we used as a border. It's just a cedar, I think. Uh, it was on a fort that we built for the kids and we didn't end up using all of the wood and we just literally took it up and put it up with brad nails. It doesn't have to be up there fancy. Um, it's not doing anything, it's just decorative. Uh, my husband would hold a piece up, mark how long it needed to be. I'd go cut it, bring it back, and he'd put it in place. Made it go really fast, especially since one of us had to be on top of the um, workbench the whole time. Then we attached our um, surge protector and hung out for a minute. You know, went and got the tools, took a break. And then it was time to reload our pegboard. Woohoo! Okay guys, that was super easy, right? I mean, basically we just had to build up, bulk up our two by fours, make them a little bit wider to give us room to get the, the hooks back there. No big deal, right? Right. You can totally do this in your shop. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button with the little bell, smash a little like button. You know, leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought that I could have done different. I'm really open to suggestion. Uh, you know, not that I'm ever going to install pegboard again, but I, you know, I might, and I'd really love to hear some feedback. So you guys, I really appreciate you being here and we'll see you soon next week when I drop another video. Thanks.